Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-mission.com. So guys, today we are going to talk about something very interesting called cross-browser testing in Test Trigger. So, so far we have seen how to write test cases, right? We have seen how to see the reports, how to create reusable rules, and we have seen how to pass the test data as well, right? Now we'll talk about how you can run the same test in different browsers. So if you can see so far that we have written multiple tests, but these tests are running on one browser. So if I want to run the same test in different browsers and using different platform, how we can do that. So first of all, you can see uh, if I come back to my settings, you will see a different options here. So we have general and we have authentication proxies, right? Retesting, error reporting. Now if you see this part, which is multiple browsers, here you need to define which browsers you want. So if you talk about right now, they have different operating system. Okay, so right now it is running by default on Ubuntu Chrome. But let's say you want to run on Ubuntu Firefox if you click on add browser. So all your tests by default will run on now two browsers. One on Ubuntu with Firefox and Ubuntu with Chrome. Now suppose you want uh, with Windows. So again for Windows they have multiple options. You can run on Chrome, Edge, IE and Firefox. So let's say I want to run Chrome Windows. Again I will click on add browser. And now let's say again I want to run on OS X, so which is Mac OS, and again I have multiple options. So I can click on let's say I want to run on Safari. So you can see right now I have okay uh, Windows. Okay, let me remove this Ubuntu Firefox, OS X Safari. So finally Ubuntu, Windows, OS X, and you can see browser Chrome, Chrome, and Safari. Now the moment I click on save, the default test all the tests will be running on these three different browsers you don't need to write even a single line of code it's just a configuration change that you need to make and you will be able to run your test cases in different browsers so just a small disclaimer that i want to add here that uh, test trigger have multiple pricing right so this options will change depends on which pricing you have if you are on the free plan or as a community you might not see the options but the moment you go to the different pricing you will see the different os in the browser combination right now i have a professional plan so all these options are enabled for me now just click on save and now the test has been like application updated which is nothing but your settings now go back to your test cases and you can run the test and it will run automatically in all different browser now let me show you how it works so let's say this is the end-to-end -end test that we have written in the last video right so this test is all about where you will be uh let me show you actually so that you will have a better picture let me click on uh, edit test case and you'll see this is like end-to-end -end test that we have written last time where we are taking a uh, dynamic data also so we are generating a unique name and then we are storing into a variable so this is the same test which is end to end test case that we are going to run okay so let me click on validate and save so finally we have not done any changes but still i clicked on validate and save now if i just simply click on it and if we uh, if i run on retest and you will see the test will start as you can see scenario scheduled for retest and you can see the moment I click on this execution ID, okay, let's open this in a new tab and automatically you will see the execution which is running on different browser and OS combination. So if, can you see it's running and it's rendering one by one. So good part here is uh, when it comes to different automation tools that we use, right? We need to write some custom logic. We need to change a couple of settings, but with test trigger, it's just a matter of settings, go to multiple browsers and mention which browsers you want to run and you can see the real-time execution it's happening okay and parallelly it is happening it's not sequentially so when it comes to test automation right we can define you want to run cross browser with sequential execution and cross browser with parallel so here by default it is running cross browser cross platform but parallel and you can see the couple of details that uh, it ran on ubuntu chrome Windows Chrome, OS X Safari, and this is the time. It took 36 seconds in this combination, 41 seconds and 39 seconds. And if you want to see the videos as well, so first of all, on the left-hand side, you will see what steps it has executed, right? And this is the final login, create user, search user, update use, uh, delete user, and finally log out. And yes, all done successfully. And if you want to see the videos as well, the moment you click on this play part, you will see the execution how it is happening on chrome uh, with ubuntu so this is the execution okay it will uh, it will be same for all the os so 
you can watch this recording in case there's some failures you can easily identify what went wrong so screenshot plus videos will help you to identify if there's some compatibility issues with your application you will understand easily right now with this application everything is working as expected and we are not getting any failure okay so if i go back you can see the status plus you can see the labels as well it, it executed on ubuntu chrome windows chrome and osx safari and if i show my previous test cases okay if i click on this so when you don't have uh, different combinations so it will run on the default settings that you have which is ubuntu chrome okay so that's a quick video about cross browser testing with test trigger so i hope you like this video so in case if you want to perform the same thing just go to settings go to multiple browser add the different browser combination and you will be able to run yeah so that's all from my side so in case if you want to learn more about test trigger and if you have any other question let me know in the comment section or you can send an email as well to my email which is mukesh at one year at learn and i will see you in the next video have a nice day. Bye-bye.